Hey folks, the Red Scourge here and welcome back to the channel. And I finally have week one edited and complete. It is not lost on me that College Football 25 just released yesterday if you were a pre-order customer, but I did want to get this thing finished. So I'm going to go through the uniforms. I have four different variations to show you, but as I show you that, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I want to do moving forward. So I still want to do this dynasty. Life has been crazy as always, and it's been a much lower priority, and that's why it took me almost a year to the day to get this released after going over the preseason. So my plan right now is to move forward with this dynasty in college football revamped. I know college football 25 is the new hotness and everyone's either playing it or about to start playing it on the 19th with a full release, but that's not really my situation. Financially, I'm not in a position to just go out and buy a ps5 or an xbox series s or x to play it and i play most of my newer games on pc so i will play it more than likely in the next couple months and when i do i'll put out my own first impressions video for it and i'll be super late to the party and that's okay but that's just kind of where it's at for me and i still really like college football revamped um the probably for the new EA game, the thing I'm most excited about is some of the new option stuff. There's some plays that look like they really work a lot better than than revamped slash 14, and that's awesome. I saw someone doing a breakdown on YouTube on one of the beta builds for it, and Rocket Toss actually worked. I couldn't believe it. Uh, so I am very excited, but I'm going to stick with this for now um, for you know those reasons, and hopefully y'all will you know, remain interested in this dynasty, even though it's been, you know, I've been gone off the channel for essentially a year. It's, uh, things have been, things have been crazier than usual, but either way, we're going to forge ahead. And I would like to be putting out these videos with some regularity. And, uh, yeah, if you're playing college football 25, let me know down in the comments, what are you the most excited for, or what is the most impressive about that game to you? Hi everybody, Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. This game ought to be a really terrific matchup and one of these teams has an opportunity to generate some momentum, maybe break through and start getting some of the attention it craves. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, it's a new coach here. It's a new beginning. It's a new era. That's all great. We'll see how game one goes. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. That makes it second and 14. On their own 41. He tackles him for a loss. How about the play of this defensive end? This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. Zips it to the back. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That makes it fourth and one. Bring him down at the 37. That's a game of eight on the play. And two. Nice 
run there. It's a five-yard pickup on the play, and that'll move the sticks. Makes the grab past the marker. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. Kicks up, and it's good. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. On the ground, left side. Tackle made at the 46-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught with room to work. He's tackled at the 48-yard He steps out around the third. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. Now he pitches it. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Go, here we go, here we go. Three and eight. Go. And he's sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. it out to the back first down and he's tackled at the 29 he's taken down around the 27 yard line he brought down at the 43 he laterals the ball gains his way to the 39 yard line They'll bring him down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. And he's immediately tackled. And they're in. Touchdown. It was a 13 play, 85 yard drive. And it took. He's on the run. And he's tackled at the 41 yard line. Great run by the back there. He gets sacked on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Here they come. They'll make the sack. Great job back-to-back -back plays by the defense. One towards the end zone here. They bring him down again. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. Ten, nothing. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You can, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, 
get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. You know, sometimes you see defenses play good in stretches. This has been the longest stretch I've seen one defense play in a football game in a long time. They want to get back in the game. And he's taken down around the 39-yard line. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Nice catch on that one. And they make the stop around the 30-yard line. Excellent open field tackle. Dog, kill, kill, kill. Yellow, three. Quick pass. He's tackled at the 11. Pressure got there, and it's intercepted. Not a good decision there. Why'd he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. <laughs> Makes it to the 31. <laughs> and he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. That's a game of 11 on the play. the 32. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Still a long ways to go here in the fourth quarter, but that score has certainly put them in a great position to win the football game. Receivers got the first down. They'll bring him down at the 31. Check three, check three, check three. And they got him. I think the offensive line missed a block there. Somebody did it. It was like a jailbreak up front, and the linebacker will get the credit for the sack. Three, nine, three, nine. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. He's under pressure, quick toss. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. They call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. Doesn't necessarily mean points. Last time, they got intercepted. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Nice play to set up first and goal. Touchdown. Good vision here by the quarterback and a good understanding of where he was on the field. He didn't need much. And and down he goes at the 42-yard line. He's really got to step it up and make a stop. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. And he's level at the 44. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. He 
he makes it to the 32-yard line. Unable to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. And he's tackled at the 44-yard line. to that quickly. And they finally push him out at the 23. It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. Quick strike tight end and that's a touchdown. it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So the score now, 17-14. And he's tackled at the 42. Ball on the 44. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, the Bengals 17, the Dukes 14. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. Well, there you have it, folks. We squeaked out a win against James Madison to move to 1-0 on the season. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.